Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. This is for November. At any time in November, but keep in mind this is not a private reading. It doesn't have your name on it. It may or may not be for you. Bits and pieces may resonate. Bits and pieces may not. If you're in a happily ever after marriage then this reading is probably not for you cuz I don't I don't yeah I don't see why you would need a reading if that's the case. So anyway, let's see what we got. What do we got for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? Ooh. <laughs> Three of Cups, Reverse, this is the end of a friendship or an end of a relationship. Or there's problems in the relationship or there's problems with friends. There could be gossip. There could be a meddler. There could be too many people with their fingers in the pie. There could be a third party situation. Maybe that third party situation is causing problems. Somebody could be cheating. Who knows? You could have problems with friends. Something to do with your friends or the person you're dealing with. Keep in mind, these readings can go vice versa. There's difficulty in a relationship, whether it's in your love life or it's your friendships or something like that. You could you could have some friends that really aren't your friends. Just saying. Hermit reversed. Now, this is midlife crisis of some sort. Unaware. Oh, you may be unaware. You may be unaware that you're dealing with somebody that doesn't have your back. So keep that in mind. Whoa. There's some unfinished business here. Ooh, this is the end. The end of something. Somebody has been betrayed, stabbed right in the back. Somebody have been stabbed right in the back. <sighs> but they were, this is an unawareness, like not aware. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if somebody's been cheating and they get caught. Ooh, change is on the horizon. This is the Wheel of Fortune. This, whatever is happening right now. Good, bad, whatever. It's changing your direction. There's a reason for it. This is a change of course that is destined to happen. This is destiny changing your direction, Aquarius. Now, this is a card of good luck. I'm not sure you could be dealing with a Virgo. Maybe maybe it was a Virgo that cheated. I don't know. Even if it was, maybe they didn't cheat. doesn't have to be cheating. Um, whatever happened, this, this person doesn't have to be a Virgo. It could be anybody has done something and it's painful this is painful but this okay completion completion and this is so something is supposed to complete it's like there's a phase in your life that is very prominent that it needs to end okay it needs to end you may have been resisting it yes that's it you have been resisting this change. You have been holding on to something that needs to end. A phase. Something big. Okay, the world card is the last card in the deck, which means that it is somebody has reached the end of a journey. The card is here. That means you've reached the end of a journey. You've reached the end of something big. Could be a graduation. Could be a marriage. It has to do with a relationship. It's either a marriage or a friendship. It's, it's like it's over. It's time for this to end. It's time for you to go in a different direction. It's time for you to leave this behind. But somebody's been resisting it. Interesting. But maybe maybe you've decided that it's time because this is change. This is the wheel of fate. It's the wheel of change. The moment of decision. The choice. Do I stay or do I go? So you're at that crossroads. You're sitting on that fence. You can choose to go over the fence or you can choose to go back. What's it going to be? Looks as though to me you're looking at change. You're probably trying to figure out what is the right path to take. What is my destiny? What is my life purpose? Everybody's life purpose, just in case you were questioning it, is to be loved unconditionally. Just so you know. 
Now, somebody, the devil, we have the devil here. The devil is the shadow side. The devil is uh, materialistic, uh, greed, lust, unhealthy, toxic things that feel good for a minute, but not long term. It's when people hold on to things for all the wrong reasons because it looks good. There's, the devil is ruled by the shadow. But is the shadow, what does the shadow show? Can you see the shadow on the wall? Okay. What is that? What, are, what am I making on the wall right there? Can you even see it? Can you see the shadow? Damn it. You can't even see it, can you? I can. Because my hand's in the way. But anyway, what you see is not what you get. What does this shadow look like? Does it look anything like the angel? Does it? It doesn't. It looks different. It looks like there's something big being pointed down. doesn't look like this angel. The shadow does not. It does not. What you see is not what you get. So you got to be careful. There's something in your life that you are not seeing clearly. This is an unawareness as well. Somebody may have been tempted and had sex with somebody on the side. You see, this is on the side. Ha! Oh, my God. Interesting. Anyway, this is the devil. This is the devil energy. This is unhealthy. This is toxic. Somebody is, is they could be staying in a situation or they're with somebody for all the wrong reasons. But this is tempted. I feel like this is tempted by a third party. I think we, somebody have a cheater here. Somebody has cheated. But this is destiny. Interesting. Ooh, I'm not sure if you're dealing with a masculine that has cheated. This is some, or this masculine could be angry. There's somebody here that is angry, narcissistic perhaps, very controlling. This is a tyrant of some sort. This is somebody who is very controlling. This person may have hurt you. This doesn't have to be a masculine. This is somebody who is very, very, very controlling, okay? I feel like this could be a feminine as well. I don't usually say that when I see the emperor. I very seldom say that. But with these three women here, I feel as though there's some, there's been some sort of third-party situation. I believe this third-party situation has to do with sex. I think that somebody may have... Uh, they may have even uh, acted uh, out of, maybe they even have a sexual addiction. I don't know. They may have acted impulsively and made a impulsive decision, you know, based on lust, based on, you know, their sexual desires to get involved and so they get caught and it hurts. So there's some sort of element of pain here. There is. There's pain. There is pain with that Ten of Swords. Don't think it's not painful because it is. It's painful. So, but this is the end. It's the end of a painful situation, perhaps with somebody who was very, very, very controlling. If you are the masculine watching this, you may be very upset when you find out. Whoever you are dealing with, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Virgo, or it doesn't really matter, or an Aries. It doesn't matter who you're dealing with. Whoever you're dealing with, I feel like this person... Um, has somebody has made an impulsive decision based on all the raw for instant gratification and that 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 decision that they made is change is causing a change of course it's causing a life change who it's coming out of this <coughs> excuse me five of cups reversed that is beginning to realize that there is another opportunity. That is realizing there's another opportunity. It is realized seeing it. Somebody has another opportunity here and it's being realized. But we do, like I thought, I saw this earlier. Somebody's been holding on. They've been holding on to what they have because it's secure. Yeah, it's secure. It's, it's based on, so somebody is holding on to perhaps a relationship that really needs to end. It's over. It's already over. But somebody's holding on to it for the assets. 
you know, perhaps this person is very worried about what society has to say. What's everybody going to say? Who gives a shit? Is your ego that big? And this could go vice versa. But the emperor in reversed has the biggest ego of them all. So we have somebody here, and this is ego as well. Somebody in, well, the devil, I have lots of good, uh, well, between the emperor and the devil as far as ego goes, you know, I don't know if the emperor can match the devil, but anyway, ego is huge in this reading, okay? Somebody's ego is, is out of control. And what, what you see is not what you get. What you see on the outside is not what is going on on the inside. And it's time for a change. It's time to face your demons. It's time to face your fears. What is the devil? Demons. You got to face those demons. Even if it means that you have to let go of a relationship. So this is a month of decision making a choice. Do you want to keep holding on to something that is already over? You're just biding your time. It's hurting you. It's killing you on the inside. Making you feel empty and lost and unloved. Or do you want to seize a new opportunity for love that you know that you have? Because I know that you have it. And you do too. But... Everybody thinks it's great, right? On Facebook, it looks so good. It's time for your new beginning. It's time to leave everything behind and start over. So I feel as though this is a month where you will be presented with an option, a choice. That is the Two of Wands. You will be presented with the choice to change your direction and go someplace else. This is step outside of your comfort zone. Break free. This is freedom. It's time to fly. This is an exciting opportunity. You will be given the chance. You will be given the chance to go someplace else this month. I feel as though you have a major new beginning here, but you have been resisting. You've been resisting. You've been stubbornly holding on to something because of the looks, because of what everybody else is going to say. And remember, this could go vice versa. It could have to do with codependency as well with that devil card. That's a very codependent thing. I don't want to be alone. Again, I don't want to be alone, the hermit reversed. It's better to go your own way and be alone than to be in a relationship where you feel dead inside. At least you can be free. At least you can do things your way. At least you don't have to worry anymore. At least you can plan a new life and start over and go where you really, really, really wanted to go. Anyway, Aquarius, you've got a brand new beginning here that is going to be presented to you. But you are going to have to find your strength to let go of whatever it is that you're holding on to. That is, it's basically killing you. It's making you angry. It's making you frustrated. It's causing you to lose your focus and your concentration because it's all you can think about. It's like, I really don't want to be here, but... What is everybody going to say? So Aquarius, I feel as though somebody could also get caught. Maybe they've involved themselves in a third party situation. Maybe with somebody even from their past. It feels as like you may have been aware. You may have been unaware that this was happening. Maybe the truth comes out. Um... Maybe you're in an unrequited love situation where whoever you're in uh, with is good in bed, but that's it. There's no love there. Just saying. 
uh, whatever it is, they're in it for the wrong reasons because there's no love in this, these cards. So it's like something is going downhill. There's no passion. And you have an opportunity to start over. So you will be presented with an opportunity to start over. This is a new beginning. You have a new beginning here. A golden opportunity. You're going to receive an opportunity. Something that you can hold on to. Something solid. Something stable. Something you manifested. You manifested a new opportunity. This is a gift. Don't throw it away. You have a gift. You see, you are going to be presented with an opportunity from somebody. A gift from above. That is no kidding. But you're going to have to end something that you have been holding on to. And I, I, for some of you, it, this is big. The world is big. It's a big. It means it was something very prominent in your life. Could be a marriage. Or it's some sort of relationship it needs to end. And it's hurting you. It's killing you. But it's it's got some sort of financial benefit or asset around it or something like that that is causing you to hold on or ego based it is definitely there's a lot of ego here but there's no you might not even be having good sex with this person or maybe you were who knows what it feels as though we got somebody here that was dealing with a person that Almost was having sex with somebody else. They may... Oh, God. I don't even know where that came from. They may have even had a child with that person. I don't know. That's what it feels like. They may have. Anyway, there is a major new beginning here. Starting from scratch. Leaving all of it behind. Going in a new direction. Traveling to a new destination. <coughs> starting over. Being presented with a golden opportunity, a gift from above, you have manifested something solid, something you can touch, something that you can hang on to, something that can last. My advice is to take it. What is this Three of Cups reversed? There's secrets and lies and deception. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. Shadows. That shadow, the, the moon and the devil are both ruled, ruled by the shadow. <coughs> Excuse me. The stuff that is unseen. Somebody has been hiding shit. No doubt. There's there's something that that you don't that you are unaware of or something is being hidden. And I feel as though this third part there's a third party situation here. I feel as though uh, the truth is going to come out. That's what I think. It has to do with a relationship. It has to this is the end of a relationship. It's a 10. We have a lot of tens here. Completion, 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 completion. Endings lead to new beginnings. And that's what we have. That is exactly what we have. We have an ending and a new beginning. Something has been hidden in the shadows. And it has to do with a third party situation. Somebody has been lying. They haven't been telling the truth. And the truth is probably going to come out. And you're going to be given the opportunity to walk away. Good luck.